Yeah, throw C4 there or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought he was going to bust out the... Oh, no, he really did it. Welcome time. back to another subscriber gameplay where I watch your gameplay, react to it, and I give you guys some advice on what I have seen. So if you guys want me to review your gameplay, there's a link down below in the description. You guys can go ahead, fill it out, and submit your gameplay. But I will only review it if you follow the directions. There's directions on there. Please follow the directions. Here's a really quick example of some of the stuff that I do get. All right, 0.76, let's go ahead and dissect his gameplay. Hey, hey, let's go. Hey. No, no, no. So give me some gameplay where you're struggling and you want to do better and that's where I come in and I hopefully help you out. Let's go ahead and review this player. This person's KD ratio is a 0.45 KD. So by far, I believe that this may be the lowest KD ratio that I'm about to watch. And he's only been playing Call of Duty for one month. And his reason for submission is that he's not a fan of any shooting game until his friends asked him to play Warzone together. Right now, he's kind of frustrated with his skills and all, but he genuinely is starting to enjoy the game. And he wants to catch up with his friends' his pace because we all play together at the same time. So this sounds pretty interesting. Of course, it's only normal for you to want to get better with your friends. So let's go ahead and dissect his gameplay and let's see exactly what he can improve. So this is going to be very interesting. He only has one month of experience. So let's go ahead and just get into the reaction here. And by the way, if you do see something that I may have missed, make sure to leave a comment down below and leave your personal tips and tricks for this guy so that when he reads the comments, he can go ahead and apply these tips to his game. We're playing on Ramaza Team Deathmatch. And let's see, whoa, <laughs> it says kiss my, that, that was his uh, his preferred class setup. I didn't even actually get to catch that. What actually was that? Okay, so he's using the M4A1 here. It looks like he's not using a stock on it. He's got this scope and it looks like a normal magazine round, but we'll find out in game. He's got the commando foregrip, which is good. And he's obviously using the M16 barrel here, so uh yeah this setup could use some improvement definitely check out my m4a1 videos for a preferred class setup uh but yeah let's just get into it he's got eod ghost and amped which is not bad uh for multiplayer i would prefer using something like tracker or something like that well it does make sense because he is using an rpg uh but there are better secondaries that you can use in multiplayer but anyways right so let's see if we got the quality all the way up here all right 720p Team deathmatch. Okay, I don't know if it's the Get quality or not, but I can recommend to turn off world motion blur. That's definitely going to hinder your vision of seeing potential enemies when you're turning around so sporadically. So he's got the tack laser on there as well. So he immediately goes for that high ground. There's an enemy right there, right in front of you. Yeah, he's already missing his shots. When you're missing your shots, don't try to challenge it and you're already getting tapped. Make sure to run for cover because of that time to kill in this game. It's really fast, so you might want to take cover when you're getting hit like that. So he immediately goes for the mount here. And honestly, man, there is really nothing going on here. Oh, crap. Let's go check this out. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to get into right there, man. The moment that you mounted right here, he immediately went for the mount. That's when I knew that, you know, this was already a mistake right here. Like, there's no reason why you should be aiming down this site. And this goes back to the fundamentals, man. If you learn the fundamentals of Call of Duty, you will be able to improve as a player. It's just as simple as that. You know, that's what I live by when I play the game. So if you take a look at that mini map right here, all your teammates are in this area. They're not engaging in any gunfights right now because if they were, then you would see some enemies in front of you. But since they're not, then you got to apply that logic and say, OK, well, if all my teammates are here, then that must mean that there's enemies behind you. So that's why, you know, looking in this direction is pretty much uh, asking to get killed and shot from behind and you know this unfortunately was the result of that you know you were basically just waiting for somebody to go ahead and you know just kill you this way that's definitely a mistake you need to learn how to read the minimap i always post videos on how to read the minimap so teammates okay there, there's obviously action going on behind you right now so just take a listen and and look at that minimap as well pay attention to the minimap Boom, teammate just died. Your teammate's engaging in a gunfight and he just killed that guy that was behind you. So those are like small little things and cues that will help you know which direction to look. All right, so there's a lot of gunfire happening over here in this direction that he's going to. There's obviously some action happening in the ruins now that the enemy has died. Now they're actually directly in front of you right here. 
All right, so, you know, when you're about to go into an area or you're facing a direction in an area, you always want to pre-aim. You know, that would definitely help you out. All right, so now that you got the UAV, you should be able to know where the enemies are coming from. You better check that wall. Better check that wall. Okay, he's he's moving up. I'm looking at that mini-map. So, I think, I think also the problem is, like, the reason why... Your KD is so low and you're not getting a lot of kills is because you're following your teammates around. When you follow your teammates around, you're basically competing for kills at that point. So there's an enemy right there. All right, that was a good kill. Now you got to watch your back because somebody's about to flank you. I just saw somebody pinging on that radar right there. He's right behind you, bro. Right? Oh, oh, okay. All right, teammate just died like right in front of him here. Now the thing, the reason why I don't like the tack laser in multiplayer is because it gives your position away. You know, when you're just aim down sights for too long, enemies who are smart enough are going to see where that laser is coming from and they're just going to know where your location is at. It's just simple as that. See, the, the fact that you're aiming down sights too much, that's just giving away your position. So, you know, I wouldn't really recommend using the tack laser if you're always, you know, using it in the wrong way. And, and the VLK optic is not necessary for multiplayer. You know, those gunfights are close enough to the point where you don't really need to zoom in that much. But, hey, I mean, he is a new player. I cannot blame him. It does help him with his aim. And that was a good kill right there. So, for sure, the enemies are coming from construction site. You know, I'm just looking at the minimap. Yeah, so that dude definitely came from construction and yeah learning how to read the minimap would be the first thing that you need to understand you know go into some private matches and just pay attention to the minimap when you're playing a 6v6 against bots you know you'll start to notice these patterns so right now it just seems like he's just getting kills as they appear it's not like it doesn't really seem like he knows exactly where to go so your game sense definitely has to improve all right, so right now, all your teammates, you're pretty much by yourself. You know, typically this is, this would this would be me in this situation. So I'm pretty sure he's in this situation without really knowing it, but you're in a pretty good spot right now. You got high ground. You got a good vantage point of where the enemies should be spawning in, which would be this area right here. Uh, but uh, if I were you, I would go down this way and try to flank into the ruins because that's where they're most likely going to be. Because if you take a look at your mini map, all your teammates are right here. And if you take a look at those triangles, they're all kind of pointed in this direction, which should tell you that is exactly where the enemies are coming in from. So let's go ahead and just, you know, let the let the footage play out here. All right, he picks up a good kill from somebody who came up those stairs. All right, they're coming in from their spawn, just like I said. This is a good vantage point. Pre-aim at the stairs right here. Yeah, he's gone already, bro. He's, he's engaging in a gunfight with your teammate. Oh, there's two people right there. Nice double kill. All right, calling that UAV. Calling that UAV. Take cover first. Reload your weapon. You only got four bullets left. When you only have uh, one kill streak, you don't need to, you know, pull up that whole category thing. You know, it just takes too long. Yeah. Uh, I just want to see what he does first. You, you've got a VTOL outside right now. You've got a, a UAV. You've got the advantage versus the enemy team. You know, you don't really need to be playing a little too reserved right now. You can actually run out to the enemies. I think, I, I feel like I have a feeling that he's confused. Like, the VTOL, it, he probably thinks the VTOL is not his. Yeah, staying in one spot is going to get you killed. Yeah, this is pretty much pointless to pull out that RPG. He's already gone. They've already flipped, the spawns have already flipped. Okay, now he, call, now he wants to call in his cluster strike, but uh, I don't see it being very effective in a map like Ramaza. You know, before you get into a match, you know, take a look at the map that you're about to get in and ask yourself, like, you know, is this map suited for these kill streaks? Yeah, dude, you're looking in the wrong direction. You might want to look. Yeah, there you go. In that direction. I've said this many times before, man. That mini map is a huge teller of information, and you got to take advantage of it. Somebody's coming on to your right over here. You can definitely get that kill if you look to your right. And now the spawns have flipped behind you. Yeah, his aiming definitely needs work. But, you know, like I said, he's only been playing for a short amount of time.
Yeah, throw a C4 there or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought he was going to bust out the... Oh, no, he really did it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, no, don't do it. Don't pull the RPG, you know, you're going to kill yourself. But, you know, that's all right, man. That's all right. He's he's a new he's literally new to Call of Duty, you know. You know, these are the kind of players that I do want to review the most. Because these are the guys that need help. Man, your team is doing you a lot of justice right now, calling in those UAVs. Behind you, behind you, you gotta look behind you, bro. They're like right there. Yeah, turn around, pre-aim. Okay, they're actually upstairs. You could actually go in for the flank if you wanted to. Yeah, I would I would also advise like, you know, learning how to use the kill streaks as well, you know. Like I said, go into a private match. A private match will help you out tremendously. I know it sounds lame, like, oh, you don't want to waste your time in a private match, you just want to get in there and play to have your kills count and all that stuff, but you know, if you're sending me this gameplay for a reason, it shows me that you really do want to improve. Which I respect. So if you really want to improve, go into a private match, play against some bots, and just get used to how the mechanics are in the game, get your aiming down. Learn more about the kill streaks, and you will definitely improve 100%. There's a guy. Oh, no, no, that was a teammate. <clears throat> You're also using dead silence. I would like to see you use that a lot more. So your, te your teammate just ki uh, called in another VTOL. So the enemy team is going to be coming in from the ruins area. So you should turn around. Turn around. There you go. All right, now pre-aim. You don't, you don't need to scan the area like that as well. Like, uh, aiming down sights and then, you know, moving your body left and right while you're aiming down sights is not a good idea because there could be a, a potential enemy that pops up out of nowhere. So, you know, this was a pretty fun video for me to review. Like I said, these are the kind of players that I do want to see and help improve. You know, like... I'm here to help you out and get better. You know, hopefully you're watching this video. You know, matter of fact, I'll, I'll leave a comment on this video to let you know that I just reviewed your video. So let's see that final score. Final score is nine and seven. So he actually went positive, but as you can see, there were a lot of mistakes that were made that, you know, these are common mistakes as well that I see a lot of new players make. And you know, uh, the advice, it wasn't sound advice because obviously I'm reacting to it in real time. I haven't really had time to sit down and think about it. So make sure you leave your comments down below on things that I may have missed. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if we really want the series to continue, show these videos some love, drop a like on it, and I will keep pushing out the content that you guys want to see. So uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as well. So yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.